Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant. Quant doing really well today again. Yeah, um, it is one of the stronger coins. It didn't wasn't really bothered by today's dip. Yeah, I mean today we came down to the 20 day moving average, simple moving average and touched it perfectly at basically 139 US dollars. So overall, the overall pattern here for Quant is and the assumption is that Quant has already seen the low in this bear market, that we're not going to get a new low for Quant. This is of course not guaranteed, you know, never guarantee any things here in these markets, in these crazy markets, there are just simply no guarantees, but Quant is looking really, really good. Assumption is that we moved up here in a wave one. Yeah, you have in these impulses to the upside, you're always looking for five waves. So we have our wave one, which again is subdividing into five sub waves. Then we had our wave two, which is a corrective wave consisting of three sub waves. And we are now looking at um, being in a wave three, yeah, which again has five sub waves indicated there in yellow, uh, the roadmap. And then there will be a wave four down and a wave five up, which again will complete a higher level or higher degree wave one, which would be followed and we go higher level in a wave two. That would be followed by wave two, yeah. It would be followed by a wave three, four, five. And that is how you cascade higher. And that is how you will cascade also to new all time highs, okay. Um, so, but what is now going on in the short term? We had quite a bit of a dip today. Quant was affected, but not that much. And yeah, let's see. So I currently assume that we have seen here the wave four today and that there will be one more push to the upside in a wave five. Um, I already showed you the option in the last video that there could be um, one more move up and a move down and another move up. So basically two more highs. I've taken that off the chart now. That has become quite unlikely because the dip today was too strong for that um, additional scenario, right? So uh, we are back to the original scenario that we talked about a few days ago. Um, but yeah, you know, so we came down here in what I believe is a wave four. So we peaked here in wave three. We expected a dip anyway. Dip was a bit stronger, which means or stronger than ideal for that other scenario that I just mentioned, yeah, to enable us to make two more highs in this impulse here so i had to take that off here yeah? um, but at the moment everything is ideal and uh, we are recovering nicely and this currently looks like wave four could be over that is what i assume now it's not completely confirmed i think it would only be really confirmed if we break above this swing high of the wave three which is at 164 us dollars now in this white circle wave four you can see we retraced again to the perfect retracement level of a wave four. Okay, we didn't quite touch it, but we came really, really close. The ideal level for a wave four is the 100 and uh, in, in this case, it would have been roughly the $138 level, the 38.2% FIP level. Now we retraced $239.30. So the ideal level for a wave four is always the 38.2% retracement of the wave three. Yeah, and we perfectly adhere to that. Yeah, we touched basically the 20 day moving average. And um, yeah, now we could be already on our move to the upside in wave five. I think this wave five uh, will then obviously complete that higher degree wave one. And it could push all the way up to, let's get close to $190. Um, personally, however, this is no, you know, no area where I would personally try to get in. Uh, of course it could work, but for me now the risk is too high, you know. Um, cause for me, the, basically the buy point would have been down here. Yeah. Or maybe even here in this reversal area, or maybe even in this reversal area, um, here I didn't define one because I anticipated a little bit of a, a, a smaller drop dip. Yeah. Not necessarily to break the trend line. We did that briefly and that basically brought us into this higher level scenario, not a scenario that we didn't have on the radar, but, um, the other one that we talked about in the last video basically got invalidated where we had one, two, one, two, and, um, whatever. Um, again, in both scenarios, we basically expected uh, still another higher high, and I think we're gonna get that. So let's see, we're now back in the channel, um, and uh, resistance of this channel, if we reach that level today, would be $174. And um, yeah, the next high could be the last one. The next high could be the last one. But what I find very interesting is that Quant is one of the few coins today did not actually push into the oversold range on the four hour chart. We were oversold on the on the one hour, but not on the four hour. Yeah, some other coins are looking much more oversold or were, now they've all recovered a bit. Um, and on the daily, we are <laughs> nearly overbought. See a little bit of a bearish divergence. So that is just a confirmation that we might get here close to invalidation. 
on the quant chart. So that's basically it. Yeah. So expect short term um, further price increases. Now there is no guarantee that we are already in this fifth wave until we really get above the wave three high, which is hundred and sixty seven dollars. And well, to be exact, yeah, hundred. No, sorry, it's not hundred and sixty seven. It is hundred and sixty three fifty, pretty much. Um, we are now at resistance. As you can see here, there is a resistance point just now here at hundred and fifty nine dollars basically yeah so we had uh, quite a bit of resistance here so already a move above that will i think increase the likelihood of pushing higher and then also to break the 163.50 level uh, i think quant can do it the question is now are the bulls ready yet or not because this could very easily also become um just here an a b no one sec a b c pattern where we come down a bit lower here and then the way forward be finished here so until we really break above that wave three high we don't really know but um yeah assumption is currently that this wave five uh, four is already in yeah we came down deep enough and we've recovered quite impulsively so that's currently my call okay and that's my update about quant hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content please check out the channel membership for access to the chat rooms, the Discord server, a weekly live stream. By the way, this Sunday in the live stream, we're going to talk about uh, the long-term charts of various coins that I cover, including new all-time high targets, even though it's quite far away, but a lot of people are interested in those all-time high targets. And um, yeah, you know, all sorts of other things um, in the membership, a great community, thanks again. And yeah, so, um, also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. There's some additional content on there as well that you will not find here on YouTube. And the links for those channels can be found in the video description. Thank you. Bye-bye.